So, you just started playing Phobies and you're a bit overwhelmed. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what you should be doing and buying, going over some basic strategies, and sharing some generalized tips. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, the first thing I want to bring up is upgrading Phobies. Now, this is probably the most important thing in the game, so you really should only be upgrading Phobies they use consistently. As you see, I don't really use Razor Mouth that much, so I keep it level 1 but I do use Cowbell and Jill. Now, as I kind of scroll through here, you'll see that some phobies are higher level than others. So just upgrade the phobies they use consistently and just makes your, make your XP used to its full extent. The next thing we need to talk about is packs. Now, I feel like packs are pretty controversial in the phobies community, but if you are new, I do recommend buying the scary pack. It gives the most XP, it gives the most upgrade cards, if someone says the uneasy pack, I really don't recommend this, just stick with the scary pack. Following this, we do have coffee packs. Now, you should be buying each coffee pack once. So, if you buy the dreadful pack once, and the first time you purchase it, uh, you actually do get a confirmed free ultra rare. So, after this though, it's really important that you start buying terrifying packs, and I would recommend only buying terrifying packs after this. So, terrifying packs are really just the best deal here you can do calculations on it i think you will find that terrifying packs are the best but if you do want to buy something else that's fine you just might lose some value to it the next thing we need to talk about is vats of xp now i feel like this really isn't commented in the phobies community as much because it's frankly unnecessary unless you're really spending money and trying to get ahead and just upgrade all your cards and get to the next stress level Sure, you could say it's worth spending money on, but it's really not. Do not spend coffee on this if you're free to play. Do not, do not buy these. Alright, following the vats of XP is boost and the daily double. So, I feel like if you are really trying to get ahead and you want to become number one if you just started or just get, um, just get to the higher ranks early, I do think this is okay if you're willing to maybe spend money on. I don't think you should spend your coffee here. I think it's better to go for new phobies and just slowly build out your army. Uh, I really don't think these are worth it in any, in any way possible. I think you should just consistently go for packs. The next important thing you should be doing is quests. Now, you need to complete Lippy's quest every day. This is very important, just get that 10 coffee out of the way. Um, I do think the other quests are sometimes too difficult to complete, so you should be re-rolling them and just trying to complete them passively. It's really not worth it to throw a game, unless you're already fine where you're at, sure you could throw a game, and it will help you grow faster. So it's really up to you here if you want to grow faster or if you want to grow at rank. So for the next section of this video, I want to talk about some basic strategy and phobies that new players will encounter. So I think it's important to note here that me and Tree Style here, very good opponent, we both summon Jar Cannon. So I think Jar Cannon, you'll see that it further develops the game even more, it really kind of decides the game, uh, the games as you go on. And I think it's also important to note that we both summon Murder Wing here. So, Murder Wing is a direct counter to Jar Cannon, and I think I will make more videos on this and more start videos and how to react to certain things. So, but 9 out of 10 times, you're really going to want to sacrifice your Murder Wing and kill their Jar Cannon. Now, I think this really makes the playing field much easier for you. I think it's easier to maneuver around a Murder Wing than it is a Jar Cannon. You know, that 3 range is it's really hard to get around. And it, it really makes the battle easier. So yeah, I just recommend if you have a murder wing, sacrifice it into the jar cannon. It's worth it. That's how you should be reacting to jar cannons. Alright, so the next point I want to make is about rushing points and kind of how you should be starting games. Now, Elmao here starts with three one-cost phobies. So sometimes this can be effective, but I've rarely seen it done. So I really don't think you should be starting your games like this, especially as a new player. Um, swarming can be good in arena in the lower ranks because people don't actually know how to respond to this. But in reality, stick to with reacting to your opponent, maybe building a stronger team at the start of the game, and just develop your strategy. Don't 
push yourself onto the points to get early damage. It's really not worth it. You'll see that I start picking off his one cost units and I just get three keys ahead here and basically win the game. So just keep this in mind when you're starting your games and try to adapt to your opponent. So for this last basic strategic tip, I want to tell you guys to use a diverse team. Don't use only one type of unit you know split it up make sure not to have two or more you can have two but I wouldn't recommend anymore because like in this situation I did summon three undead and my opponent dragon here he responded correctly he summoned smiley and that will end up diseasing my undead units and this will cost me the game because I don't have enough keys to summon mechanical units I really can't overpower this smiley so just make sure you're using a diverse team don't use more than two of one type and you should be fine finally i want to talk about some general tips so for games don't surrender games do not throw games because these games actually don't count towards your season reward or weekly rewards it's just not worth it if you're trying to grow unless you're already at the cap and that's perfectly fine the next thing we should talk about is stress level so I really think you should be trying to hit level 30 as fast as possible. Obviously that means like spending, you know, safely and not spending on phobies that you don't use. But I think I think hitting level 30 is super important for winning big maps. Even though I don't have Miss Mofot, I think this card is extremely good. I also think it's important to note that you should be trying to hit level 15 and 25 as soon as possible because you start getting more rewards. It's just, it's heavily worth it to try and speed this process up if you can. Um, just make sure to spend wisely. Something I wanted to add for caps as well, if you are trying to hit them sooner and faster than just constantly playing arena, I do think you should start around 20 to 30 async games, maybe 40 to 60 if you really want to try hard. Um, I think this is super important if you just want to get on and then get off quicker and just hit those caps early it's definitely easier for me and that's what I do. Finally, I want to talk about referring a friend. Now I think this is a very important tool to keep in mind who you're giving this code to. Now you should be making sure these friends are going to actually play if you want to get the maximum rewards. You can go to the Phobies Discord server and talk with some of the people there. Um, just make sure that if you are giving someone a code that they will play and even if you're taking a code yourself you know, make sure you don't hit level 10 or further, or you can't accept a code. This might have changed, but this is what happened to me, and I lost out on 100 feet coffee. So just make sure you're looking at this and trying to choose the best people to actually give your code to. Alright, that's it for the video, and I hope you learned something new. I think I'll definitely go more in depth on some of the content that I was explaining, and maybe some more starts and whatnot. But currently 0% of my viewers are actually subscribed, so if you want to, that'd help me out, and thanks for watching.